Hello and welcome, this is Moose2006 and today we are going to be looking at straw and hay and the difference in obtaining both of those things and then what you can do with them once you have them. So we're going to begin with straw and to get straw you either have to plant uh, barley or wheat, it doesn't matter which one, they both produce the same thing. Um, so go ahead and plant your barley wheat, let it grow and then when you get into your harvester you see in the top left, if you hit comma, it'll disable straw swath. What you want to do is keep that enabled. So enable straw swath, click that. And what that will do then is once you harvest your barley or wheat, it'll spit out the straw just like that. So you're going to get all these rows um, for every path the harvester makes. So what I did to speed things up in the video is I went ahead and already harvested a field of barley and then I took my windrower and rowed together uh, all the rows so that it was just in two nice rows so sorry about the stutter there so now I have my loading wagon once you have the straw on the ground you can either pick it up with a loading wagon or bale it for your uh, cow mix feed which will be a separate video so what I'm going to do is use the loading wagon today and I just turn it on and just run over it and it'll pick it up just like that. And like I said, I've already windrowed all this so it'll actually pick up very quickly because I probably have three or four rows worth of straw in this one row and I'll show the windrower later on in the video when I get to hay. So I can go over and fill this thing up. So once I have my straw in the loading wagon, you can either go over and sell it, which is what I'll show you right now, or you can take it down to your cows and use it to feed them with, which I will show in the cows tutorial. So if you want to sell your straw straight away with the loading wagon, you come over here. This is uh, behind your chickens up here. And back up into it like so. And in the bottom right, you'll get an icon eventually. There you go. So now I can unload it, hit Q, and it'll unload. And in the top right, I'm getting money. I don't recommend this option because you don't get a lot of money for the amount of straw. I would recommend either baling your straw for the mixing wagon or using it to feed your cows with. So that's straw. Again, barley or wheat. Harvest it. Make sure that, there we go, you enable your straw swath so that it goes into rows like that. If you don't enable your, your straw swath, sorry about that, um, kind of difficult to say. If you don't enable that, I'll show you what happens. So disable straw swath. Now if I harvest, instead of spitting out straw, it'll just sort of disappear. Um, did I not do it? <coughs> disable straw swath. There, that's what happens. Um, instead of shooting out rows of straw, it'll just disappear like that. So again, make sure you enable it. Uh, let me go ahead and enable it so that I can have straw. Enable, and then you'll get straw. And again, barley or wheat doesn't make a difference. So there's straw. Now, for, for hay, you have to have grass, and then you have to dry it. So it's kind of hard to tell, but I already have a... This whole field is mowed with grass. So the mower I use, I use this one for the front, like that, and then I use this larger one on the back, like that. Go ahead and lower it, turn it on, unfold the back one, and lower it, and turn it on, and then when you go over it, it'll mow that entire um, path, which is quite a bit of grass at once. So you can mow this field pretty quickly. So again, I've already done it for the sake of this video, so I just wanted to show you the mower I use. Very efficient, very fast. So I'm gonna get rid of this back mower, because I don't need it right now. I'm having some major frame rate issues today. I apologize, I don't know why it's doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up my tether. So once you have the grass, you have to dry it to make hay. So you get your tether, 
And what that's going to do is sort of turn the hay over so that it can dry. Unfold it. Lower it. Turn it on, it'll start spinning. And then just run over the grass. And that's hay right there. So I'll just do this for a little bit and then turn around and come back with it. So all that brown now is hay. And what you do with hay is bale it and use it in your mixing wagon. There's not really anything else you'd want to use it for. So there's hay. You just mow the grass and then go over it with the tether. So I'm going to show the windrower right now because it is extremely useful. So you don't really want to go back and forth this much with a baler because that would take a really, really long time. So use a windrower and what it'll do is gather a huge path of grass into one row. So I'll go ahead and unfold it. That mower might get in the way, but that's okay. So this is the biggest windrower in the game, um, but any size is going to help a lot. So unfold it, lower it, turn it on, and all that is going to gather into one row so that you can just go over that one row with the baler and get all the grass that I'm picking up right now. It speeds things up immensely, so I highly recommend using a windrower when you want to do grass, straw, or hay. So again, the baling process will be in separate tutorials and feeding the cows with straw will be in a separate tutorial as well. I just wanted to show how to get straw and how to get hay. So I hope that helps. Let me know in the comments if there needs to be anything clarified. Otherwise, leave a like or a subscription would be wonderful. Have a very nice day.